This is Karen with the Kind Garden Stuff here with the Vermi Bag Minimist and Louisiana Swamp Worms, otherwise known as Dendrobina Veneta. It's been three weeks since last checkup on them. I've been away and also had um, a uh, one of my cousins passed away, so he went to his funeral. Anyway, let me see if I can adjust this. Okay, that should be good. <clears throat> All right. So here we are. Um, there's some gnats, very few gnats on the side. Uh, it's moist here in the center. You see what I see? What we have here? Oh, it's a lot of worms here. It's just top of a banana. Lots of little ones. Okay, they didn't go through all their food. So banana peels here. This is the grape stem <clears throat> from before. But it looks there's a lot of them in here. A lot of worms. I don't know if that's coming in clear or not. But. Okay, let's just ruffle this up a little bit. They are looking great. There's multiplying like crazy. Oh, let me see if I can get this without too much problem here. Nope. Oh, I don't know what this piece was, but there's some type of larva on here. With the worms. Wow, I can't believe it, the explosive growth in the amount of worms in this bin. I think I only started with maybe a hundred. That was, let me look here. Um, that was in, on October 24. And then it started in the Minimist on um, November 15. So, and it's March. November, December, January, February, March. So four months. They are looking great. And I think I put down some... Uh, Well, I, I pretty much know I put down um, <clears throat> some coffee, what do you call those, coffee filter, a coffee filter, and I don't see any of it right now, but you can see there's 
doing great here. So, doing great guys. I think I'll do the same thing. I will just put a bunch of food in here. I probably won't have to check in on them on another three, three to four weeks. Unless there's a more explosive growth. Wow, look at this. Little worm ball. Okay, so let's uh, feed them up. Oh, there's baby. Babies on my glove. More babies. Make sure, oh, there's still more babies. That's what I mean, they're like multiplied like crazy. To me, they seem to be even more prolific than the red wigglers. <coughs> Okay, so, oh, more babies, these are so tiny. All right, so let me go ahead, some uh, ground eggshell. Here is a uh, coffee filter. A couple of scoops of coffee, coffee grounds. worms on the side here. Let me get them off. I think they went down. Okay, looks like there's some uh, avocado skin. Banana peels. Orange peels. Just want to spread them up evenly so they get, they can get to it quicker. Um, not exactly sure what this is. If this is some kind of lettuce like kale. And celery. And Broccoli, broccoli stem, celery. Let's see, what is this? Carrot. More broccoli, more carrots. And that's about it. Let's see, what is this? Oh, pit, broccoli pit. I mean, not broccoli, avocado pit. Broccoli's don't have pits. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, let me go ahead and get the uh, moist bedding.
should be good. Yeah, taking care of these worms is so simple. Let me, I think I'll just put the rest of this on here. <clears throat> just so we don't have any vegetables sticking out, any food scraps sticking out, so. And I don't need to put on the top. I want to build up this level. So that are, that's that's it. That's it for these guys. And uh, if you have any questions about the uh, Louisiana swamp worms or the Vermibag Minimist, I'll be happy to field any questions for you. If you want to see something specific, uh, just uh, drop it in the comment section below. And thank you for coming on this journey with me.